Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I'm ready. I've been waiting on you, Keith. I've been waiting on you. Well, get used to it. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared for this build. I just don't know the the Empire very well. I just don't... But I don't have a giant monster to build my entire match around. Like, what do I do with my life? Yep. All right. All right. This is another um, kind of a, 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 it's not quite a theme to build like the other one, but <laughs> I am trying out something new. I'd probably do better if I stopped like practicing with random shit every time, but I'm like, ooh, let's just see how these types of units do. Well, I mean, you gotta learn somehow that yeah. way, right? Or ooh, these units are so pretty. They're going in the army for sure. <laughs> I have I have two of those types of units in this army. He's my favorite. I think he's my favorite Chaos Lord. Archeon. Nope. Okay. Nope. Prince Sigvald. He's become like the most well, I don't know, the most powerful Chaos one, but he's definitely like cuz he's, he's so cheap and he holds so long. He holds forever. Yeah. He takes like no damage. He's just a, he's a he's insane. And then I also brought his mirror guard, which are the special chaos yeah. warriors with swords, because they have matching armor and they look so great together. <laughs> and that's literally the entire reason I brought them. <laughs> Such a waste of points, but come on. What do you expect me to do? Alright, hold on, let's set this up. Okay, I think I'm ready whenever you are. And I'm not ready yet. Come on, man. No, I'm, just I'm going as fast as I can. I'm sorry. Okay. Wait, where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Oh, we got about the same amount of troops. Oh, that means you went big. Ish. Empire normally gets a ton of troops. Yeah, you went. You went big. <laughs> Yeah, ish, because, I mean, I did the same thing. Yeah, we want that to be two. We want you to be two. Yeah, there we go. Why aren't you being included in the one? Okay. There we go. Three, and I'm trying to get better about grouping and using my groups and commands. And Yeah, I want to figure out how to map, like, the one key and the two key to these buttons on my mouse that I don't ever use. Because, like, I, you know, I have my hand on the WASD, and, you know, reaching up for one and two seems so slow, where if I, like, I could just click one of these buttons on the side of my mouse, that'd be nice. Because I always put... You can't, oh, you can't, can't you map it? Possibly. I, I don't know. I haven't really, I haven't, I looked inside the game controls, like, the actual options in the game, and I didn't see anything. Um, I haven't looked for, like the operating system yet. Sorry, I'm still I was still working as I, I put I just turned my laptop off and put it away. I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. Uh, this busy busy day. Yeah, today's been I'm ready to kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's, Let's do go. it. Let's do it. Okay. Where are you going? Come here, charging. Why not? Holy. What do we got? Knights of the Blazing Sun, the Royal Hippogriffs, Knights of the Blazing Sun. Why are you 
do that, huh? The hippogriff, nice, huh? Ooh, come on, guys. Oh, what am I doing with you? Oh, what are you doing on the ground? Come on, dude. Did I do that? <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, come on, you practiced this, Ben. You know what to do. You practiced. Oh, hey, you guys should go attack, huh? Dude, select. Selecting you. Get back here. Get the suns. Yeah, you go work on them. That's that's nice. You work on them. Dude, what am I even doing with Carl Franz? Come on, man. Oh, you. Oh no, I got you still. Oh, that was beautiful. Right onto the blazing suns, huh? I felt nothing. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't even hurt me in the slightest. would pay attention, if I could pay attention to what they're doing. Interesting, okay. No, I don't cast it. Ah, it's too late. Yeah, actually, you're good. Those great swords are pretty pretty solid. Yep. The mirror guard though, huh? Just like chilling with Sigmar's sons. This is a good fight because I have no idea who's winning. I think you're winning actually. Uh looks like you might be. Barely though, if I no, I don't know. It feels pretty balanced right now. Can't tell where your troops end and mine begin. Can't get rid of those goddamn chariots. Yeah, they and they're very cheap. Like the that's and that's why like I almost was like maybe I'll bring fewer and I'll bring some nicer stuff, but like 
I kept looking at it, and they're so cheap mm -hmm. that I was like, I'll just, I'll just bring a bunch of them, like, cause you know, any like small increase in damage isn't gonna be that great when you're losing units. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Y'all can go over there. Yeah, boy. This is very close. I feel like I'm losing pretty badly. It it still feels pretty close. Although maybe now it's not so bad. It's not so close. Oh, I need more magic. Where's my magic? You know, you, you, the recharge rate's based on how much you have left, right? So if you've spent a lot of it, you might lose it. Uh, yeah, I know there's Come something on. weird about it. I just, it feels like I'm, I don't get enough casting off. I, I might have taken an, I might have brought a... No, I don't think I did. Not on this build. One of my builds has some uh some some stuff come on come back come back ah that's good enough that last that lasts a pretty long time ah there we go shattered my guns Come. yeah just you. Oh, come on. Oh, you still have the Blazing Knights, huh? Damn, this is a close match. That's okay, I'm out of magic. You can have him. Yeah, but he counts for something on the balance of power, though. True. Fair. Yeah, look at Siegfried, though. Look at look at the magnificent... That magnificent bastard, huh? <laughs> Oh, you're on a horse? You're gonna have to come and get me at some point. Come on, Halberts, come back, for God's sakes. Oh, they're broke, yeah. Strip it from you, too. Goodbye, armor. Go get him. Oh man, this is rough, huh? I think it still says you're winning, but it's not as bad as it. I think it feels. No, it's very close. Those those Knights of the Blazing Sun are putting in a ton of work for you. There we go. There we go. I got rid of your armor, and now all of your stuff is... Yeah, come on. Get him. Get him. Oh, we're so close. Break, break come on, Halberts, come back! For, oh, fuck you, bastard! Did they reach, did it, ah, yes! Woo! So close! You gonna retreat your knights away to try and get your lord back? 
Or just to get a charge. Yeah, that's true. Fair. Get him. Oh wait, holy, holy demigriff knights, Jesus! Where are the demigriff knights? Just Don't worry about it. Them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, that's not good. No wonder the balance of power is so high. Come on, break them too. Break them too. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely uh, in your uh, favor, though. Did not well, realize the Demigriff Knights had come back. That that could have been a game changer. And frickin' Franz broke oh. its army losses. Yeah, although I don't have any large units, so I don't know how you... I mean, they're still good, right? They're still yeah, good. no, they're they're strong. blenders. Yeah, they, they'll... What do you mean, blenders? Like, they'll just tear through anything, pretty much. Uh, there's four. There's what is this? It? Well, how many of this them is left? There's six of them. That's not that one. I mean, actually, if you brought them over in the middle of the fight and hit me from the rear, you actually probably could have broken that small group that I had at the very end. Yeah. Well, also, it would have been um. It would have been uh dash two or one. Um, it would have also been another. Uh, thing for rear charging and chasing down other well, units. That's what I'm saying. Broken yeah, units. Yeah, you could have maybe. Yep, you could have had some of my units that kept breaking and coming back, not come back. I won the first one, buddy. Nice. This is this is a matchup. I I know that uh, without cannons, I probably like if I had brought cannons or something artillery, I probably could have done. Smoked me. But that's yeah. the thing. I'm trying to figure out how to not do that. Um. It's like, um, it's, it's, uh, honestly, I built this army because of, like, your catap. Like, I thought you were going to bring a mm. bunch of artillery. That's why I had so much, so many, um, chariots. Because I was like, I can, one of them will punch through and can remove the artillery long enough for my guards to get there. Look at Sigfeld. What a, what a boss. 269. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the, K look at the Marauders with 74 kills. I got 1,400 on, on those, like, those guys cost 475. Yeah. Another thousand on my Forsaken. The 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 mirror guard coming in with 1600. The chariots. That's the thing is I I brought a I pretty like elite. I brought a pretty elite build, so like everything's did, probably yeah. going to everything's going to have pretty I mean, good you did damage. Really well. All of your units did very well. Like mm -hmm. you, you that's what I mean it was pretty close. That's about as close as it gets. I just, I don't know, like, I, I was trying to figure out how to get more units on the thing, but then I was also worried about having, I mean, those, those, uh, which my deals, uh, flagellants, they, they just hold forever, and that's what I need with my guns. My guns did really yes. well, but just not enough, and you're, I couldn't get rid of those catapults, or not catapults, the chariots. They're because yeah they have they're not as good as some of them. I, I've I've been playing with a lot of chariot like I was mm -hmm. testing um, Setra and even Arcan and his chariot and those are better, but the Chaos chariots are pretty good. They still punch through like thin lines of infantry. Yeah. You can't. You can hold them with cavalry or with other good holding units, but it's a it's hard to keep them pinned in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I used to hate chariots, but they're kind of growing on me. Uh, they can be real powerful. Some of them are pretty crap tacular. The the ones that you brought with the high elves, I don't think they're really good. What am I looking for? I think Still they on? can be. I don't think they're worth the points that they cost. I think that's why nobody brings yeah. them. Yeah, you need to, like because and you have to just you you then invest so much that you have to get all that damage. And then, uh huh. You know, even the um the tomb king's chariots, aside from like Setra and Arcan, are kind of eh, because like. They're, they're smaller in the units, they're, six, they're and there's a set of 12, so they don't have as much mass, and they don't push through very easily, mm -hmm. and they also die a lot more quickly, and so then it's like, you've lost your, you know, you're losing a model is a huge thing. But it, the uh, Tomb Kings ones come with more models than most chariots. I think they come with 6 versus the... Yeah, no, no, they come with 12. They come with 12. Or, or, or 16. Plus they're, they're smaller, and they don't have as much. Mass. Yes, but they're also undead, so they don't break. They just keep fighting. True. And what I like the most is that the missile chariots and the non-missile chariots are literally identical. Mm -hmm. Like, they're the same build. It's just that one comes with chariots. So you ca you get pretty amazing... Oh, this is an, in this is an interesting build. Oh, good. oh, God. This actually might work out really well for me. Holy smokes. 
I, by the way, I took I took the uh, the list of our maps and I just put it in a checklist uh, note, like Android note or whatever. And now yeah. I'm just going to uh, check them off once we're done with them, like once we use it, and then we'll we'll loop through again. Yeah, that's cool. There's a map. The map that I always test on is actually I think would be very good. It's it's a desert, so it's kind of boring. But we I don't think we've ever played it, and it's flat and it's not too big and I so I'll have to find the name of it because I think that'll be that's just a good classic like yeah map, absolutely you know? all right let's yeah this is either this is either gonna go really well for me or really poorly and based on my play testing it's gonna go really fucking poorly <laughs> But these are kind of small uh, boxes. Yeah, you also have three times as many troops as I do. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. All right, I'm. Um, uh, hold on. Okay, I'm ready. I am ready as well. Starting like all the way at the end of the map. Damn it, you brought the one thing I was pretty sure would be terrible for me. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It's the only thing I could find that did any amount of like reasonable damage. Oh, and you brought two of them. No, I brought four of them. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, because I told you, I just kept, I was like, I can't win, and so then I kept trying to find like some weird way to make myself win, and I don't think I'm going to win I this. Find, I think that's I think too you, much. Like, yeah, I, I think you will. Well, maybe not this range. I don't know. I'll have to think about this. Because you also started as far back as you could be. Pretty much. I'm at the very front. Of, I'm at the very front of my. Oh, so it's just that this map is probably is the a, worst idea for this. Map. Yeah, this is a bad map for uh, for your choices. Ah, oh, crap! This is gonna suck. It's not. You're gonna bust right through my lines, and then we'll be fine. Oh god, it hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, those shots? Yeah. You went pretty wide. Oh no! Ah, that's that sucked. Oh yeah, see, here's the problem. Dude, I selected you. Go. In. Yeah. Oh, and you brought three heroes? You brought exact. Yep, I knew. I was like, he's gonna bring Gortra. I, so all I did was practice against Gortrek and the White Dwarf. Godric. I, I knew Godric because I knew that's what you were gonna bring. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta be. We gotta be really, really on point. No. No! Go away! Stop! That's you're not supposed to come. You're not supposed to come back there. What are you doing? That's enough. Enough. No! Hunger's raiders, huh? Ooh, that's a nice spicy hit.
Oh, hello. No. Yes. My Necrotech is dead. Yeah, yeah, see, this is what I knew was gonna happen. Not my Necrotech, my big monstery boy. It's just not enough. There's not enough, like, ways to stop the what's happening. And I tried, and the thing that's, you know, and I kept trying, like, okay, so I'll bring fewer of these obscene caskets of souls, and then, I, like, but it doesn't matter, because the, their unit, their infantry are so garbage. Yeah. That, like, any, any investment is, like, it's not even worth it. Like, I'd better off not, you know, five units of skeleton warriors for one of the caskets is not going to be enough. But that is what it is. Oh, I forgot to get my heal off on my guy. That's a bummer. Wasted points. Gortrak is just shredding. Yeah, there we go. Yep, everybody's gonna die now. Good fight. Good, Good fight. fight. I I gotta say, I was pretty, uh, as soon as I saw the four <laughs> caskets, or you told me about the four caskets, I was yeah, like, no! Like, two caskets. No, dude, I got four. <laughs> four of them. Just the Necrotech left, huh? He can't heal himself. That's a useless heal. Oh, he can heal himself. What? Is he a construct? Oh, I guess he's dead. That's what he is. <laughs> Good right. game. Four, yeah, remind me to never do that again. Honestly, though, if I had brought, like, two cannons, you probably would have been... Like, that probably wouldn't have done anything. Yours. Like, I no, could have just... I, I was... Yeah. I was basically banking on you bringing artillery because it just the, the like the absolute worst army for me to fight is what you what you brought, which is just a big horde of dwarves because even their like miners can take on my tomb guard and no problem, you know. Yeah, yeah. They might they, they might lose eventually, but they're going to take half the unit with them. So, I was like, okay, so I just need I need killing power and then I'll try to stall them and I tried like different variations like a a, a double Camare war dog or warhound or whatever whatever the fuck that thing is mm -hmm. the sphinx i tried a bunch you know a bunch of birds and some other stuff but i probably was, would have only brought two carrions i probably would have brought two carrions instead of four dropped the nerekara warriors and got more tomb guard because they're not that much more expensive i don't think and they hold they're, longer yeah they're an, they're i mean they're expensive enough yeah, yeah, I could, I could trade one carrion and turn those two Nehekara into tomb guards. Yeah, that might have been a little better, but it's um, the same problem where it's like, the birds are fast and I can pin you down, and so like, ideally they just stop you long enough to. But that's why I had the slayers for. And then come away. As soon as, as soon as you landed with your birds, I would like move my, uh, my archers or whatever well, back and the slayers would come in and but they're still fast enough to get on you and start crumbling you down those carrion yes. are yeah. like they're just like fell bats they're a little bit better than fell bats they don't last very long against anything no i could have done like a like drop you drop them down long enough to stop you and get a shot off and then pull them up but then it's so much micro trying to do that and manage the two artillery fires and mm -hmm. everything else and like the catapults are garbage, so I wasn't gonna bring screaming call catapults. They're so inaccurate. They are really inaccurate, but in numbers they can do pretty well. Um, and they're a hell of a lot cheaper than those uh, caskets. Yeah, I did so many. I did so much testing though. It's like one casket is equal to like two, maybe three screaming hmm. screaming skulls, like unit per unit. If you have three skulls attack one unit and one. Um, casket attack another the caskets are gonna win out but here's another thing not not that i'm saying this is this, this would have won you build. you can say it but no <laughs> but but what i'm saying is, what i was going to say is that um oh there it is i'm trying to find the next wizards uh if you had brought like three catapults my initial thought would have been like oh they're catapults they're inaccurate they don't do that much damage you would have used all of your ammo on those things which would have made them it's the same reason like i talk about goblin archers being really good or skaven slave slingers it's like 
do I really care enough to put the time into those? But if you get all of your ammo shot, like it's going to do some work. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah, it, it's a it's but, a mind but game thing. Is it thing. enough work? Is it enough work though? You know what I mean? For how like, cheap they are, they don't take much to pay for themselves. Yeah, but then, but then, but but like, and this this is so. Then what do I bring for killing power? Because they aren't. They're gonna they're gonna whittle away at you, but they aren't doing much tomb scorpions. Power. And I tried. This, yeah, the scorpion. I mean, you saw the war sphinx. He got demolished. Granted, yeah. He was by his. He was by his lonesome. But I tested like dual sphinxes. I tested dual scorpions. I tried triple bone giants. It was just there isn't a combination. You have you know, with with a, a couple units of slayers, which you're almost certainly going to bring as dwarves, especially against a large, heavy faction like tomb kings. Mm -hmm. There was just no way to. The thing really about the Tomb Scorpions is they have a very low, like, like they're they're low to the ground, so they're harder to hit with arrows and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. They're also their animation when they're attacking puts them like everywhere, like they're they're all over the place. So they're also hard to hit for that. Uh, the the reason your Kemmering War Sphinx went down like so quickly is because I had both my Slayers on it and I had those. Uh, uh, torpedo thing shooting at, and that's just that's exactly yeah, what Drake. would. Uh, well, I was, I was, I was just going to say that that's that's that went exactly how I wanted it to go, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, his point. I probably should have kept him a little closer, but I was trying to balance delaying a good chunk mm -hmm. of your force long enough to click because I was trying to clear that first wave. Because if I could clear that, if I could have cleared that first wave, it doesn't matter if he dies. Then I can artillery the second wave long enough, hopefully, mm -hmm. to. But then, I mean, it's just yeah. Th at that point, probably my tomb guard and Nehekars are mostly gone, so that's a tough fight. It might be, and I, again, I don't know for sure, but maybe the the Skaven idea, where you actually just layer troops on top of like, and then have like one or two of the caskets so that you can hopefully waste enough time to why can't i find this goddamn map sorry i feel like it's a problem that i could solve maybe but i'm never gonna take mm -hmm. tomb kings against the dwarves again so uh, but yeah probably like i probably probably accept the lower amount of um wait why doesn't it save my uh i forgot i changed i had one that was exactly at zero coins and then i made a small change to it <laughs> It's fine. It's better. This army is so good. This build that I have, it depends on one thing. One thing, it, like I will lose if one thing is the way it. it if might I brought be. an army like that. If you brought lose. one unit. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't bring that unit then. Probably this is not convent. I didn't bring any of the big fancy. No big bass. Okay. Is that the unit you were afraid yes, of? Yes, absolutely. Why would you build that? Every other, uh, every single build I've made, except for this one, has used Big Bess. Uh, there was another one that you didn't bring Big Bess either, but you have brought it before I knew she existed. You have brought uh, it most of the time, but all right, this one takes a second to build. So oh, same, on. same. Okay, I think I'm ready whenever you are.
I, my, my mic was muted. <laughs> All right, I am very quickly going to be ready. Okay. Oh, nope, that's not why I wanted. That's why I wanted. Ah, uh, you brought an you brought a Kaidi build? Ish. Pretty Kaidi, Pterodon Riders. Something's wrong. That's not a lot of units. Oh, triple temple guard? No? Hmm. Something's not adding up. I don't know what you're talking about. Where's your secret? All right. Super micro intensive. <laughs> Oh, and I brought a unit that I absolutely did not need to bring. What'd you bring? I brought, a, or a spell, rather. I brought a spell that I just didn't need to bring. Okay, you, stop. Dude. I forgot to put everyone off of, uh... Oh, you brought Solastra, eh? Of course, she's my queen. Interesting. I don't think, I think I have too much to micro here. I don't think I'm doing well. Holy, Temple Guard got killed. Oh, nice banishment. Thank you.
you gotta remove those. Oh, I think you're gonna win. I didn't expect triple guard. Oh, I didn't. I brought two. No, you had three. No, two, that's two and the unique. Uh, I brought one and the unique, and it's um. Oh shit, Teradon Riders. Uh, it's the crap. The red crested skinks ROR I brought. Oh, oh, I see. No, you have the star chamber guardian. Yes, I do. But I also brought the red crested skink uh, ROR, which is not a temple guard. Still says we're balanced. Nice banishment. Oh, I'm moving with it. No, don't move with it. Oh, Celestra is looking pretty healthy. Yeah, but so is most of your army and units. I think I'm losing. I'm pretty sure we're losing. Yeah, I don't have enough units. Except for Celestra, she's doing she's she's doing real spicy. Oh, you know what? Oh, uh, Star Chamber Guardians, I think, have magical damage. Yes, they do. Come uh, here, Celestra. Yes, Come nah, here, nah, Celestra. Nah. nah, where are they? You don't have that many of them. That's fine. Nah, you're, you've definitely won. Damn, that was such a. I was so pleased with this. Cause it's a crab, you know. I had two arms. I had the two arms and <laughs> the mouth, and I was moving it like a crab. For a while, I had a whole bunch of crab units, but you did a pretty good job not letting me get any of my units set up. That's good. I felt like at the like towards the middle of that match, I really didn't have much. Uh, I wasn't microing very well. Yeah, it was. It was going really well. Now she's breaking. She's the last unit. Come on, no ma oh, I have no magic left. I didn't even get to use my fog. I was I was gonna try to spam that fog mm -hmm. because I brought something that makes you know she her ability recharges fi 15 seconds faster. So I was like so ready, but then I ended up not using it as much. It it reduces the. Uh, oh the yeah, it's, and yeah. Loyalty. Dude, I yeah, thought I would have got get... more out of my skin priest of heaven. Go ahead. I didn't get enough out of any of my units. Those banishments did real well, apparently, because I got sixteen hundred on that on the salon. Yeah, you got so you got ha more than half of my shade wraiths with the second one, and you got basically two, and you got like half the py the gunnery mob. Mm -hmm. Oh, half the handguns and half the hand cannons, which I should have brought more. Those hand cannons are so good. You didn't bring any large. I thought you well, you brought like three units. You didn't bring a single big dino. 
Well, that's I because so I prepared. thought you'd had guns and you would have cannons and... I mean, I didn't have any cannons, but those hand gunners are... So two units of hand gunners mm -hmm. can... And a single unit of zombies can break a... What's the what's the big the biggest one? Oh, the Dreadsarian. Dread yeah, he's. Yeah. This is a matchup where you would absolutely not bring the Dreadsarian. Oh. There's just well, way. Well, I didn't have any artillery. Yeah, but, yeah, but still, right. like the handguns, it's such a big target. Actually, to tell you the truth, I would drop the the pistol mobs and just got another handgun. Like three handguns would have been amazing. I don't know. I would... had three handguns. Three hand. Oh, handguns, not yeah. hand cannons. Yeah. Did you think the hand yeah. cannons were good? Did you like them? I like the hand cannons a lot. They I'm... have a short range, but they absolutely murder large units, and they can shoot over the heads of the... Mm. Like, they arc. Yeah. So, I mean, in all of my testing, I found them to be incredibly effective at... And, and there's so many. Like, for, they're cheap, and so it's like if I lose a unit, it doesn't really matter, and one unit alone is enough to really put the hurt like they th those they did pretty well oh, i forgot to save the replay oh i have it i'll send it to you okay cool yeah i mean if anything i might have i might drop the shade wraith gunners because they were really there to break your loyal to break your leadership through a combination of that and just dropping fog of the damned everywhere because mm. i can with her what is it with her item I can drop a fog every 20 seconds. Yeah. And like w accounting for both Promethean summons because those are guys are great. That gives me like four fogs and they're huge. Like I could cover my whole lines. So I was that was the plan. It didn't really work out that way. <laughs> uh, uh, I didn't get as much value out of her um her knight her knight's errand as I was expecting to. You uh but that's the thing. You shut down like a chameleon skink like you didn't kill it but you shut him down like i had to run from him and i think you were on top of yeah. my my uh priest for a little bit like i think they did okay it, it's hard with summon units well. summon units are like they're so hit or miss like a lot of times you're just yeah. using them to bog things down and that doesn't mean they'll get you'll get a lot out of them it just means they do a specific job uh, and I didn't bring any of the direct damage because I I thought like I didn't think you would bring Temple Guard. Like <laughs> if if I had known you would bring even a single unit for the same reason you wouldn't bring monsters. I figured you would go fast and kitey with a couple of hard hitting monsters to try and punch through my ranks and mm -hmm. get to the rear. But no, you just went fast and kitey. I had four Good chameleon fight. skinks. That was uh. I thought that was a... Yeah. Apparently, Chameleon Skinks are, like, the one of the most annoying units in the game. Like, everyone who plays up against them hates them. <laughs> oh, Bretonia. Oh, this build. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> against the High Elves. Oh, it's going to go poorly. I like to hear that. <laughs> I can already tell. I'm, I wasn't too sure about this build. Again, I shouldn't tell you this ahead of time, so we'll discuss it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have I, I took a bunch of videos of the crabs because I don't know if you've ever like you should go go into a custom battle after this take a unit of Prometheans and uh -huh. then just sit in them and watch them crawl the way they like click and chirp while they move <laughs> and their mouth like they're so well animated uh huh it, it they're amazing and so like watching them crawl with uh, Silostra behind them is great nice I almost yeah I had tough I think she's my favorite vampire vampirate lord but they have some other good choices luther harkin i think is mine i am is he the one who gets the necrofex or is he the one that gets the terror geist he's the one who gets the terror geist he has no magic yeah. but he is like i don't know he's just he gets a gun he's good in melee he heals himself which you know all of them but uh what's her name do uh Solastra. no not Solastra. Yeah. Um, she doesn't heal. No, she does. She does damage to combatants when casting, but she doesn't heal anything. Oh, okay. Oh, because I almost brought heals, but yeah, the vamp, the uh, two vampire specific ones, because she's a ghost. The two vampire lords, they they have the hunger, so as long as they're fighting, they're healing. Yeah. Well, and I almost brought him because of the terror guys, but I figured you would expect me to bring another big flying terror geist, given. Mm -hmm. 
the other build, so I was like, no, we're not going to do that. Where are you guys? Okay, you're the big boys. What are you going to do? We're going to push you here. Okay. Men of Britonia. <laughs> This is going to be an interesting <laughs> battle for sure. I'm a little nervous. Uh, you shouldn't be. I'm trying to like, I don't know, I'm trying to like like the High Elves and the uh, and the Empire, but I just don't. Like, they're just not as interesting as like the you know, green skins or the Skaven or the... I like, I pretty much like all of the factions for the most part. It does feel like the Empire and Bretonia are basically reskins of each other, kind of. Hmm. But outside of that, I like all of the units. Just they don't have any monsters, like, they're the best thing, the closest thing they can bring is like a steam tank or those, uh, where are they the but they get but as a compromise they get the best the best artillery in the game mm -hmm. maybe bar maybe the dwarves are a little better but yeah but the, right. as we've talked about I'm not a big fan of uh, playing the, the artillery dwarves. game yeah let me just confirm who's who I'm at the, which one is okay you're that oh shit you have so many troops <laughs> oh god this is going to go you, badly you should Oh, that that's they're probably they're all garbage. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you know. Uh, Two thousand peasants is gonna get smoked by a hundred elite elven warriors. <laughs> It'll depend. I, f I I think if you brought a dragon, I'm probably gonna have a bad time. I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, I don't see a dragon. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Sastras. War lions, huh? Yeah. Not sure if I have a good. Well, I do. Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Dragon princes. Dragon princes. Grail guardians. Holy crap. Grail Knights, yeah, holy boy. crap. Yep, way the best artillery Britannia has to offer. <laughs> we would not march without our knights. No, what are you shooting at? Don't shoot at that. Don't shoot peasants, you jerk. No, move, dude, move. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta get them. Oh, come on. <laughs> get get in the fight, boys. Awaiting orders. Go. It will be done. Boy, those sisters, huh? That's what I was hoping for. Where are you going? Don't don't no, go in no, there. No, I don't. I don't think you're looking at the sisters, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, oh boy, those sisters. Ooh, 
Yeah, uh, but your knights confused. are getting destroyed. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Not sure why you would be. Because they're distracting the rest. Of, I, I'm, I'm in it for the war, baby. <laughs> I'm in it to win the war. Yeah, dude. Get them. Get in there. It's just not going well, it looks, doesn't look like. We advance. Advance. We will obey. Moving up. Who are you boys? Yeah, go over there. Yeah, you go get them. Bay and Tant Chantress, you need to be getting her in the frickin' combat, buddy. Oh, me or you? You, you yeah. You're saying you want to get her. No, you should be. She drains everything around her whenever she's in combat. She's a Mortis engine. Oh, that's, but she has to be. To I didn't know that. Yeah. But she has to be in combat. Alright, well, let's get her into combat then. Boy, those Sea Guard are pretty solid, all on their lonesome. They're a spear unit, man. They're archer first, yeah, but oh, they're spear true. unit second. Yeah, fair. They, have, they have that bonus against large, don't they? Yep. That's why I brought them. Ooh, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Hoo, hoo, hoo. She is in trouble. Oh, and then she breaks. I think that you're going, yeah, you're winning this, dude. I don't know. Am I? Oh, shit. The core is good. Oh, yeah. The core is good, huh? Don't break, you bastards. I got you out of the fight. Come on. Why are you, why are you, why are you bullying me like this, huh? Ah, you bitches. Oh, there we go. There you go! Dude, these freaking Grail Guardians just won't break. Oh yeah, they're they're nuts. I'm surprised they're, they've lasted that long. Hey, don't worry. I'm sending I'm sending you some help, guys. I'm sending you some help. Oh, everybody's broken down there. That's uh. 
Yeah, work on them, please. Why don't you leave my archers alone? How come you're running away? Stop running away. The War Lions of Thrace, huh? Come on, guys. There we go. Dude, I told you to kill them. Get over there. Is he on a horse? Oh, he is on a horse. Come on, come here, come here, baby. Hey, I got some presents for you. Squires! They're actually pretty, they're pretty solid, huh? Yeah, I mean, they're... Oh, that's, that's my lord. They're the best infantry unit I think they can bring, I think. Yeah, they're, they're very solid. Oh shit, you got shit coming back too. Oh yeah, I do. My men never Dude, give up. I told you to get out of there. Get him. Go get him. I don't think I'm getting any more magic. Yeah, I'm, I'm at that same boat. Oh, no, don't give up. I think it's because Gotrek is in such good shape that I'm not winning this. Yeah, well, and the Fae Enchantress, too. Yeah, but she's awfully squishy. Well, yes, and Gotrek's unbreakable. Yeah. Oh, nope, waste on her, them. Awaken my vengeful brothers! Get him! Oh. There we go. I'm all out of magic to do. Boy, I, I was like, I, I, I just want to bring Gortrek. I don't need any of his units. And that was any of his abilities. There yep, we go. There we go. Nice game. Ooh. Yeah, that was close. Two and two today. Two and two. What was the other one you won? The first one? Yeah, Chaos Empire. Yeah. And that's honestly, I I was expecting to dominate on the Vampire Coast and none of the others. So, you did that. That was a, those were a bunch of good games. Shouldn't have brought the Noble. He was a waste. I thought about him being a waste. I shouldn't have brought him. I mean, look at your war lions and both your dragon princes. Yeah, 
astounding. So are they anti large? Uh, I believe they are. Yeah. Uh, and they also have like the a Sisters crazy. Of yeah, that was a lot of investment that you took out pretty quickly. That... <laughs> yeah. As soon as I saw them, I had three, two fire archers and a poison archer target them. My right Lather and Seaguard did like... pretty well, though. I probably should have dropped yeah. them and just brought more regular archers. No, you probably you should have dropped the Sisters of Avalorn and brought more Lothar and Seaguard. That that's why that's what I, I said. I like I should have dropped oh, the Sisters said... and gotten just radio. Uh, probably like I brought the Lothar and Seaguard for the edges, like for my flanks to help protect yep. her, them. Uh, but yeah, I should have brought like them and some regular archers. Well, they're they're like the thing is, it's like they're. I mean, they're they're almost just spearmen who are also pretty solid archers uh -huh. you know they're more expensive but i i feel like you could get away with bringing them as your spearmen and then having another like having a ranged core behind it mm. i don't know at least like through the middle you could have like spearmen in the front and then you could bring lothar and seaguard in the middle and for the sides and then make one or two good units i think if i was to do but, this yeah. again i would probably I would drop the sisters. I would probably bring. I'm like in my thing right now. Uh, brought yeah. two more regular archers. I would drop the noble for sure. Um, I probably would have brought another. I would drop the the fireborn, which is the R O R of the prince, dragon princes. And I probably would have brought oh, just and another the ones prince. Who are yeah. Oh man, the dragon princes are anti nothing. They're just shock cab, and they still put up. They put mm -hmm. work down. They're just one of those units, they have so much, like, killing power in natively that they don't need, like, the extra stuff. Yeah, you probably could have, like, I don't know, the War Lions did a pretty good job. I, I might have gone, I might have grabbed the cavalry brought again, or one of the phoenixes, because, like, you could have harassed, because you, most of my archers got all of their shots off, mm -hmm. up, up until, like, the end, like, and then, but yeah. Nice. Some solid fights. I already think I know most of my four <laughs> units that I want to do for next week, so I'll let you know once I finalize it. But I gotta go get some food now and then cook dinner for Elliot. So cool, yo. Well, thanks for playing. Good game. Of course, yeah. Definitely. I'll talk to you later. Have a yep. Have a good night. You too. Bye.